Well, if you were an 80s video arcade fanatic like I was, then we have a staycation spot that's custom made for all of us video game people. Yes, it's the 25 year passion for a Winston-Salem man who has created, get this, an Airbnb in his basement that comes with its own classic video arcade. And I mean a classic arcade collection. And yes, they're all functional. I spoke with owner Scott Leftwich this morning. Take a look. Your quest awaits. Scott, I grew up a huge video game geek, so I have to tell you, this is big for me. I want to know how you got started with this whole idea. Um, well, I've been collecting and restoring classic arcade games for about 25 years, and um, my wife and I have stayed at a few Airbnbs across the country, and we just had the idea one day of, well, you know, we could do this. It would be a lot of fun. and. Um, you know, I think that people would absolutely love experiencing uh, my arcade, which is the largest private collection on the East Coast of working uh, 70s and early 80s games. And so we launched it about six weeks ago and it's been a lot of fun. So tell me what it's like, like what will people experience if they stay there? What will they see? Guests will stay in an 80s themed bedroom. They have access to the arcade, which is enormous. Um, there's well over a hundred machines there. All the popular titles, Pac-Man, Galaga, Donkey Kong, Space Invaders, Frogger, and the list goes on and on. There's games people will know, some that they won't know. There's a lot of rare games. There are nine games there in which there are less than 10 of known to exist in the world. Um, people also have access to every video game console ever made from the beginning to CD platforms. There's just so much to do here. It's a true 80s experience like no other. Well, I appreciate this, man. This is back to the future, that's for sure, and uh, good luck with all this. All right, so I asked you on Facebook what your favorite classic arcade, arcade game was. I will tell you, Pac-Man and Galaga were pretty much leading the way, but Mary says, Ms. Pac-Man, I play it every day now on my iPad. <laughs> Vicky said Space Invaders, I think I saw that in Scott's house there. Tammy McAllister said Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man, yep. Ron Ruiz says Galaga, that was a big one up there. Rick Everly said, I had a Donkey Kong machine from 1982 that was refurbished and modified to play over 40 classic games, but I sold it, worst decision I ever made. He said he misses it to this day. Uh, and Joy says Tetris and Space Invaders there. So the key to this is that not only does he have all the games, all the consoles, uh, an 80s themed bedroom, but he has a VCR collection of movies uh, with VHS tapes, like I stacks of them. That. And then he has, um, I just told you in the break, there was some, oh, a vinyl collection and a turntable that he said he bought when he was 14. It still works. Whoa. And he has all of his vinyl there. I saw Van Halen and Def Leppard and all these things. So it's really cool. At first I was thinking this would be a great place to rent out for like a little kid, but this actually seems like a great place for an adult because I love some of those games. And I mean, 120 stand up arcade games that have all been refurbished, even some. Some are so rare, if you caught this in the story, he said there's some that only 10 exist and he has one of them. Wow, so, that's amazing. crazy. I mean, I'm not the biggest video game person, but I can really appreciate this. I mean, it's truly like stepping back in time to mm -hmm. see all of those. I know some people that would really love that. And you said every controller ever made, right? He has oh, every console. So console. he has like, you know, the first PlayStation, like the one first Nintendo, five. like yes. the Super Mario Brothers yep. and all of that. If it's PlayStation 1, Spyro, Crash, Bandit. So even oh, you I know. Knew. Yeah, I know all that. We were <laughs> a gaming the gamers. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> we, I loved it. Yeah, I love games. So even the stand-up <laughs> consoles, I know I'm old enough to remember when arcades were around and you guys might have seen them, but when you go to Boxcar, some of those mm -hmm. places that have them, what do you like to play of, the, of those stand-up games or do you play it at all? I, I mean, I do go and play. I can't think of anything specific. I think the first thing I really remember playing and just being obsessed with, we talked about it this morning, Snake on oh, my mom's yeah, yeah. cell phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like so cool <clears throat> that there was a game on her cell phone and that was like... Which was the based off of Centipede, and that was a stand-up mm, arcade game. Okay. Awesome. So there you go. Now I'm obsessed with going there. <laughs>